I think of um, how it's clear and kind of, it can be really smooth, kind of like, it looks like water, but frozen. How like safe is the glass? Like how durable is it? I don't know much about how you make glass, but I think it has something to do with sand being melted. When I think of glass, I don't really think of like technology and stuff. Like when I think of glass, I think of like stained glass windows. I thought it was cool how like you could uh, tint the windows a lot. I like how kind of like synced everything from her like little tablet, like all her dates and stuff and where she needed to go into her car. You could customize a car as many times as you want, mm -hmm. especially if you had more glass in the car. And I liked how they turned it pink. That was really fun. <laughs> That'd be a fun feature. I do that a lot. I think with medical and sciences and stuff, it's going to be really big. And you had a doctor who was able to look at the same results and sort of, it was sort of up projected. The hospital scene was really cool. I think that that is what I imagine to be like the future of technology in the next 10 years. What was essentially a 3D item that lived sort of in the virtual world in that sense that you could up project something rather than just have it be so flat and 2D. Well, I like the part where um, they were in the classroom and they were talking about colors, I think. I think that the interactive aspect of the color spectrum idea was really cool. Something I really liked about it was when they could just touch things and it was all organized. Like seeing the dinosaurs was really cool. They do still have like um, park rangers and stuff like explaining everything. It does kind of bring it into the future, but I don't know, I just, I like the dinosaurs, that was fun. I like the part about the footprint, cause when you're out in nature, you know, you carry around those little books and you're like, oh, that is, and then sometimes you don't even find it. But with this, it's kind of like Google goggles, but to like an extreme. It doesn't just show you like a picture or text. It actually has like information next to it. A hundred years ago, they never imagined that all of this would happen. Um, and we would have smartphones and computers and a, a bunch of things that help us to obtain information. We have all this information that we can constantly get, but for them, it's constant. It's like right there, like literally on the wall. We would never have to print anything again. Perhaps having biometrics integrated into the glass. Mm -hmm. As you touch it or as you use it, it would just know that it's you. I think it would make life a lot more simple. There are things that we can't even imagine that it will be used for that it will be used for. You do start kind of like realizing like the possibilities of glass and this video just like really opens your mind about it.